In my own house, I think I'm a bully. Who did it? Who did it? I can be really mean by just screaming in the top of my lungs, and sometimes it scares them. Stop! Seriously, you guys! On a daily basis, I see things that shouldn't be happening, like smacking on the face, hitting the head, throwing the water bottles. Go! Right now, Shane, get up! Get up! One of those nights that when we don't listen, get a spanking. That's how we do it here. I told my children, I'm gonna throw them away or strangle you. That's the only way I know how to raise kids, hurting them and threatening them. Well, I don't want this What are you doing? There's more room up here than down here. Are you stupid? I have four children. I have three of my own, and then one is my niece from Samoa. I think I treated her as a slave. I just slap her in the head while I'm doing her hair. She'll throw a toy at the kid, anything that she can find that's within reach. I usually pick my sandals out from my feet and just hit one of my kids with it. I don't even realize I'm doing it. It's just normal to me, because that's how we were raised. If somebody were to see and look in the window, the police would be here right away. I have threatened to leave her. My wife is in need of a lot of help. If she doesn't get the help and doesn't change, then I, I can't stick around. I'm afraid that I'm going to lose my kids and my husband. I do love my wife to death. When I look in my children's eyes, sometimes I see fear. A child should not be afraid of her mother. What do you think about that as you watch it? It's scary. And um, it's embarrassing. You see that picture? Yeah. Tell me about this picture. I forgot the day that was happening, but um, I think I was mad. I was trying to tell her to do something, but it hurts me when Cheyenne told me that I don't want to slap. Why did you do that? Get, Quaylen! I don't want to slap! Get back there now! Go in your room right now, you're done! Get in your room right now! I don't want to slap! I don't get how you watch this happen. Explain that to me, I don't... How do you stand by and watch someone abuse a helpless child? for six years. I've tried to be very patient, but at the same time, um, I just have been trying to be very patient because I know where she comes from, and to her, it was normal, you know, but f you know, for me, it wasn't normal. So I was kind of torn about what to do in those situations. I always talk to her until I'm blue in the face. You need to stop doing this. And the only thing I can get out of her sometimes is, um, this is who I am, so deal with it. But you have to understand, it ultimately is your choice. You, you get that, right? Yes. You don't really break habits. That's a misnomer. You don't break habits. What you do is you replace one behavior or set of behaviors with a new behavior or set of behaviors that crowd that out. You know, if you just stop doing that and you don't put anything in its place, you'll go back to doing that. So we have to take that behavior out and put new behaviors in there. I do not want, intend, nor will I trivialize what happened to you. In fact, I don't trivialize it, I maximize it because I want you to understand you're doing the same thing right now. You, you've got to know that these children are saying, why me? I will get you anger management. I will get somebody to help you with that anger. I will get you parenting class, parenting training and education. What you have to help me with is you've got to be accountability here. You've got to be willing to say, patience is over. I won't allow this to happen anymore. You've got to give him permission. You've got to invite him to stand between you and those children if it's necessary. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.